Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Plays Bloodborne. Alright, this will be episode 1 in a sense, but there is an episode beforehand, which is um, episode 0, where we take care of the cutscenes, the character creation, and the very first death. Um, this will be episode 1 in a sense because it's more of um, the traditional gameplay itself. But, if you haven't watched episode 0, and you kind of want to find out what the story is all about, I'll probably have an annotation so you can jump back and check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, you know, this will be your essential startup point over here. You've come to the right place. Alrighty. So, uh, I am playing online, just a heads up, and I've also played the game already. So, um, it's not a blind playthrough, I essentially have the majority idea where I should be going, what I should be doing. Although, if you're not familiar with the channel, you will know that uh, I have a terrible memory. So, in a sense, you could kind of consider this not a blind run, but more of a semi-blind run, just because I tend to forget <laughs> really often. But, um, I think for the most part, we should be fine. Although, you know, I, I don't hold me to that. Like, down the line, they'll be like, Falcon, you said everything would be fine, and it's not fine. And I'll be like, you know what, man? There was a disclaimer in the very first episode, and that's what it, this is right now. A disclaimer of my poor memory. Alright, so Blood Vials. Let's talk a little bit about Bloodborne over here in case you are new to Bloodborne, or if you're not sure what Bloodborne is. Um, it is an extension of the Dark Souls game and Demon Souls game. It is from From Software. It is uh, made by, quote-unquote, the A-Team, in a sense, um, if you want to go by that term. Uh, Dark Souls 2 was made by the quote-unquote B-Team. Uh, not that I'm saying I'm not shitting on Dark Souls 2, because I actually liked it. I didn't really enjoy it as much as Dark Souls 1, I will admit, but I did have fun with it. Uh, this is actually more of a throwback to the Demon Souls game, more than anything, just because it does share a lot more similarities to Demon Souls, I would say at least personally. The, the quote-unquote Estus Flat system is gone now. You actually use Blood Vials. Blood Vials kind of work, in a sense, more like green herbs, or just herbs in general from Demon Souls itself. You don't necessarily have to sit at a bonfire, aka a lamp, which we just lit right now, to replenish your um, blood vials or your quote-unquote Estus flask. You essentially just pick these up throughout the game, you have your own storage where you kind of save them. Uh, this lamp now transports you back to the Hunter's Dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. Excellent. So that's going to be our bonfire in a sense. This will be one of the shortcuts that we're kind of aiming for right here, and we also have an NPC which we'll talk to right now. Oh. You must be a hunter, and not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help. If there's anything that can be done, <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. <laughs> Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the healing church known as the Cathedral Ward, and deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood, or so they say. <laughs> Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty, so he just gives you a little bit of background right there in case uh, you're not really sure what you're doing. Um, it's not just follow the path till you get to the end. You can talk to NPCs. Most of the NPCs will be um, indicated by red lanterns, at least over here in Yarnum itself. Actually, for the most part, I think most NPCs will be found through um, lanterns. There's a few that are actually outside, but we'll see some of those later. But the majority of the NPCs that you can talk to in this game, and some of them which can actually initiate little side quests as well, and not just side quests like your traditional Dark Souls, Demon Souls that are kind of like a little bit more obtuse out there, where it's kind of like trigger so-and-so scene, trigger so-and-so area to kind of get the quest line going. Some of these actually have like items involved with it, and it's kind of like go here, do so-and-so, and you know, etc, etc. So, in a sense, it's a bit more different, but there are definitely side quests in this game. The pebble itself kind of works as a way to kind of lure people out, or, you know, enemies just all together from packs, and it's actually a really useful item. This is telling me there's an ambush waiting ahead, and you're not wrong, there's definitely an ambush right over here. How you doing, buddy? Let's do my little jump attack over here. Oof, 
That didn't really go out too well for you now, did it? Suspector over here that died. Hunting awaits ahead, but remember, hit and run. 120 appraisal, huh? So I'm not sure about hitting and running. I mostly just come in for an attack and just hit and don't really run back unless, you know, I get outmatched and I, I will run, believe me. <laughs> I'm not over here bragging. I can't really launch on these guys over here, that's unfortunate. Then again, there's quite a few of them there, so I probably don't necessarily want to um, do that. So, other differences that we haven't talked about in terms of Bloodborne to Demon Souls and Dark Souls. There is no um, shield in this game. Actually, there is a shield in the game, but it's a really terrible shield. I would really not encourage you to use it. How are you guys doing? I could throw a pebble and just lure some of these guys out of here, but instead... I am going to do that and take some damage already, because I'm a fool, but... As you saw there, I got my health back. Why did you get your health back, Falcon? Well, nope. God damn it. This weapon's a little bit slower than I'm kind of used to. Um, as you see right there in my health, I, kinda, I think I talked about this a little bit in uh, episode zero. But if you take damage, you will see a little bit of a recovery period on your health bar, which if you do launch an attack and actually hit your enemy, you do have the chance of kind of recovering some of your health, which is kind of like the way that they remove shields in that sense, where it's kind of like, yeah, you took damage, but instead of withdrawing and healing, just go in for an attack and regain some of your energy back. Now, the other thing about this is there's going to be a parrying system, right? You're thinking, well, how do you parry if you don't have a shield? Well, your firearm is essentially your defense mechanism in this game. Um, this guy over here might rock my world. I hope he doesn't. I'm really bad with the parrying, but let's give this a try. Okay, really good example of me being bad with the parrying. Let's uh, jump back here a little bit and... Probably want to drop one more of these. Let's see here. Oof. Well, I parried him, but he fucked me up in the process as well. So bad at this parrying thing, man. There we got him. Okay. So essentially what I was trying to do there is... The moment that that blade of his is going to make contact with you is when... What the fuck did you just do? Did you just headbutt me? Who, who tells you to headbutt me? Uh, I'm just so very fucking delayed with it is my problem, I want to say. Don't kill me. Don't kill me right now. Really, really terrible start here. Blood vials, at least he kind of replenished my blood vials. So, the premise behind the parry itself is, let's open up this um, shortcut over here. The moment he kind of um, is about to make contact with you with that blade or that weapon in general, that's when you're supposed to shoot him and it will kind of put him down on his knee like we did the first time. And that's basically the opening for the attack. Some of the enemies in the game and some of the bosses will be really, really uh, successful to this, so... It's kind of really imperative to kind of get used to it, although I'll admit it, I mean, I went through the game for the most part already, and as you can see, I'm not really great at parrying whatsoever. I've gotten through by just, you know, dodging and weaving, kind of being like, you know, Muhammad Ali in a sense, you know, just, well, what's that old famous saying? You know, sing like a butterfly, weave like a bee, or is it the other way around? I know the way it's really supposed to be, I'm just making a, a joke here, okay? A half-assed joke. Some more Quicksilver bullets here. Not Quicksilver. Well, actually, Quicksilver. I'm over here thinking of the uh, Marvel superhero. Alrighty, so let me go back into. Hey, 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 Let's um, not get too carried away here, my friend. Enough of these surprise attacks here. What are you telling me? Beware of foe? Yeah, well, probably should have read that, but so be it. I kind of knew it was there anyway. But let's see. We want to keep going forward over here and just get this dude out of the way. How you doing, buddy? Now, attacking this guy. Is apparently bad for my health. But it's going to actually summon a few of these dudes over here. Which I don't really want to get involved with here. So don't you swing that fucking torch at me, you piece of shit. Now my stamina isn't doing that great. So let me get a second to recover that. This guy is over here stuck. Are you stuck? Should probably parry these guys a little bit to kind of get used to it again. I, the thing is that I've been running with such an unparry type of build on my off-camera run, which I completed the game with just about, that I really haven't really bothered pairing anymore, even off-camera. Look at this fucking guy over here. I love the fact that the ragdoll physics are back. Oh, God! Hey! Hey, hey! Oh, of course. Guy with, um, rifle. I was just observe. Alright, you just hang out. <laughs> no pun intended. Just hang out for a second. We'll come back and talk to you. Alright, look, guys. What are you doing? Don't fucking... Stupid motion controllers. Don't you be bowing to the fact that a man just shot me from across the fucking area. Can't grab this item? Okay. Um, well, this worries me a little bit. But let's try tossing a pebble over here to kind of garner the attention of somebody. Unless we could just run up to the other side of the staircase as well. There is a, that option as well. Um, yeah. 
Now, we have our friend over here hanging out. We'll talk to him soon. Uh, not really talk to him, but we'll observe him right now, which is what I want to do. How you guys doing? You guys want to come down over here and just kind of uh, meet me one-on-one? -on -one? Probably be easier than having your friends over here sniping me. Is he still sniping from afar? He totally is. Alrighty. Let's just deal with you guys right now. Alrighty. I'll deal with your friends later. Right now, it's between me and you. My stamina is actually pretty terrible. Not sure if that's because I picked the violent pass individual or just, um, I'm just spamming a little bit too much here and running away too at the same time, so that's not really doing us much favors. Um, this guy's still here. We have at least two snipers. Let me run up here. And, oh, shit. <laughs> hey! Didn't see you guys there. Um, if you don't mind. Nope, I don't really want to die right now. So, I'm just gonna, nope. Rifle man, you stopping right now. That would have been a pretty good use of a Molotov cocktail, but I'm trying to save those for the... Potential first boss that we might get involved with over here. Yeah, come over here, Pitchfork Man. Apparently this man thinks I'm fucking Frankenstein or something. Lynch him! Lynch the monster! Hey, Shield Man. Okay, well, I guess I won't deal with Shield Man. I forget that there's also Rifle Man up there. Yeah, come here, guys. Hurry up. Get Stop getting stuck in the staircase. Oh, hey! Hey, <laughs> where'd you guys come from? Oh, this is no good. I have no idea where you guys came from. I don't really like it. What are we looking at? Two more? One more. Okay. Yeah, you weave that fucking torch around. It's not going to really do much for you. Alrighty. Done most of this. Is there a backup posse? Where did you guys come from? I could have sworn we already dealt with you guys. You guys keep coming, I guess. I'm not sure what I was thinking with that one. I just literally walked into this island. Line of sight. Really? Is this really happening right now? Alrighty. Let's get some of these blood vials going on over here get this terrible game plan out of the way here. Jesus Christ. Just something about talking and playing this game that I just can't apparently do. My brain just doesn't function that way. Normally when I play this game off camera, everything was just like free and easy, just slowly making my way to every single area, meticulously looking around. Right now it's just kind of like, yeah, I already done it before, let me just rush in there. While well, at the same time I'm over here talking, what's the worst that could happen? And we're obviously seeing what the worst that can happen right now. Alrighty. So we have Sniper Dude, and then we have Man with Torch over here, and Shield. Let's get rid of Sniper Dude number one. Stop being a pain in my dick side over here. I did say my dick side. There's a little doggy down there as well. Let's start dodging a bit more too, Falcon. We talked about this not being Dark Souls and Demon Souls, yet you're acting like you have a shield up the entire time. Cooks over bullets, alrighty. We have at least one more Sniper, and Doggy Man is coming up here. How you doing, Snoop Dogg? And there you go done with. Dogs are always kind of like my kryptonite, you know? They always have that really weird pattern of movement, so you can never really get the gist of them. They always just kind of weave and bob around. More quicksilver bullets. Most of these are actually, as you can see, when I'm picking those up, even though I already have 20, which is in my cap, my inventory cap, the green signifies that it's going to my storage area back in the um, Hunter's stream. So if you're wondering what that little green icon is, it means that you're basically filled up on what you could carry on your person itself. Oh, you're no longer hanging out. That's a shame. You did give me a Molotov cocktail, though, so there is that. So, essentially, that green icon telling you, hey, you already have the max limit that you can carry. Most of your extras are going to the storage in Hunter's Dream, which is something that, even though it sounds kind of silly, me talking about it, a lot of people miss it. You know what? I missed it earlier on. I had no idea what that green icon was until later on. Um, <laughs> I was looking around to Hunter's Dream, and I was like, storage? What the hell is this? And I was like, oh, sweet. They're all here. So keep that in mind. Alrighty, so we're gonna get this blood vial over here. We're up to 11. I mean, I've used up a lot already, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But, you know, it's my fault in reality. Let's see if we can do a little bit better parry in this guy. Although, what are the chances that actually happens? Let's see. Turn around, my friend. Launch an attack. There you go. That's exactly how you want to do it. Not the way I've been kind of dicking around with it beforehand. Although, let's be honest here. That dude with the um, big axe is a little bit more tougher than you want to deal with early on. We have a torch, blood vial. And more Molotov cocktails. That's the reason why you can't open this, by the way. But that's the reason why there's really not much point in fighting the guy with the axe that we did earlier on, because there's really nothing that he's hiding or holding that's really of value. So, I think one of the signs over there, one of the user sites that, like, grief ahead, that's essentially what that is. It's fucking from software being trolls in that one. Alrighty, nothing over here. And getting these crows out of the way. So let's just pop this open. There should be oil learns. Excellent. Those would be pretty handy for the boss fight itself. And we should have another NPC over here, which we'll talk to. Lantern, NPC. I don't 
reckon you're from round here. Well, <laughs> stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> I don't reckon you're where I am. Alrighty, not much of use over here. So we're going to be going down this path over here, which is going to be one of the um, shortcuts that you can find early on. I think this will probably lead us to one of the shortcuts that we saw back there in the first lamp. I could be wrong about that, but there's basically this way, which is like a hidden path, and then there's the path that the game wants you to take, which is down that side. But we're going to be going down this side instead and see what's about over here. How you guys doggies doing? Yeah, just hanging out over here? Alright, don't mind me. Now, I'm not entirely sure if there is any point in killing these dogs. I don't think they actually burst out of there, but if they do, we've taken care of it. Oh, this is leads to the sewers, if I'm right. But we're going to be going up this path instead. But yeah, that leads to the sewers, which is something you kind of want to take care of at some point. Hey, dog man. How you doing? Uh, now, here's the problem. Um, I think part of the reason why, as well, the period hasn't really going my way is the fact that I'm playing with a little bit of an audio delay. Um, I don't have a... Uh, you know, traditional microphone. I have a, I have a headset microphone here. So, essentially, what this is, what the, my setup right now is that this is connected to my laptop, which is um, the so which is where I'm running the software to record my PS4 thing. So, I'm listening to the audio that comes out of the laptop, which is what I'm recording. Because if I don't have that, apologies about that. I have like a weird text here. Uh, anyway, what I was trying to say is that um, my microphone. Uh, my game, my television's muted because otherwise my microphone would be picking up the audio and my uh, the, the game audio itself from the television and my recording at the same time or my commentary. So then I wouldn't be able to kind of um, edit it later on. So what I'm doing is I'm actually over here playing with the audio delay from my laptop because there's a latency that comes from. Um, ma'am, I was over here talking, but okay. What do you want? I'll burn it out. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you once had got off your arse, you wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what, Libby? Are you going to tell me you're not? Yeah, I should have known. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Well, go on. Alrighty, so, uh, essentially, um... I only had the option to say no. Later on, you're going to get an option to kind of send some NPCs to some locations that are quote-unquote safe. Um, we're not aware of what that is just yet, but we'll talk about it down the line. If I go down to Sewer, I think I have a better option of getting a Madman's Knowledge, which will give me the insight which I need to level up. Because right now, we can't really level up unless, you know, two things happen. Number one, I get some insight. Or number two, I actually see a boss and or beat him or die to that boss. So the only way you can level up is by getting some insight first and foremost. How you guys doing, buddy? There you go. So what I was trying to say here before that lady interrupted me. Wanna hit a kill? Excellent. Is that I am playing with an audio delay over here, so... Not that I'm saying that it really should be throwing me off, but... It's kinda hard to kinda pick up in real time sound. And there's a lot of uh, things that the game actually really doesn't, you know, focus on sound. Like seeing if there's like a enemy hitting around the corner which you can't see. But you should be able to hear. So I'm over here running a little bit of a delay, and again, I'm not using it as an excuse, but... Just realize that I am running with that, so if something goes terribly wrong, I'm going to use that as an excuse. I'm just throwing it out there right now. I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm just fucking terrible. No, it's the fact that I'm running with delay. Anything happens in the game, and that's the reason why. Falcon is completely free. I'm over here essentially just wiping my hands of any sort of issue. So I'm over here on top of the uh, these rafters over here by the sewer. We knock down a few bodies, which we will pick up those items that we drop down from there later on. Right now, I'm just kind of looking around and seeing what's in here. Uh, we should have an NPC down this point. Doo -doo -doo. Anything of value over here doesn't quite seem like it, but we are going to meet um, Aileen the Hunter, if I am right, or the Huntress, I guess I should say. Crow Hunter. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Still lingering about, what's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, 
We're little different from the beasts themselves. What are you enough to a hunt? All right, so we got the um, shake off cape, which is essentially a gesture you could use like in PvP or one of these guys over here. Let's see. I'm over here trying to maneuver my control in a motion type of way because usually doing motions with the PS4 controller will have you do things like that. And unfortunately, it's happened to me in the middle of battle too. Where I'm kind of like, come on, god damn it. It's not, it's not my fault that I shake a lot when I'm playing a video game, all right? It's like, you know, uh, never mind. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> I was going to go somewhere really bad with that, but I realized I don't want to be that guy. So, um, at this point, we have a few options over here, and they're all going to basically involve dropping down. So let's do that. And I already killed this guy already, right? Yeah, he's Dunsky. Let me drop a blood vial over here. We have one of his friends over here. Um, if you're wondering if backstabs are still around, they, they totally are. Let me show you how this works, though. Okay, so... What I did right there was a charge attack. How bloods, uh, backs, bloodstabs, not bloodstabs, but how backstabs work now is that you're supposed to kind of creep up on a fighter or on an enemy, or just, you know, not even creep up. But if you could essentially get behind a character or an enemy and charge up your attack by holding R2 and doing that, you will put him into a dazed area, which then opens up the backstab. Essentially, I think this was actually done so people don't really fish for backstabs anymore, which was one of the things in Dark Souls 1. Two kind of, um, fix it a little bit. Dark Souls 1, you could essentially just backstab most of your way through the game. And number 2, they worked on it a bit where it was really hard to land a backstab. But it was more silly because essentially your enemy would just fucking circle in a 360 degree motion with you the entire time. So it looked like he was just basically stuck in place, just turning around in circles, keeping you from backstabbing. Now the way they kind of worked it around was that if you want to land a backstab, you have to land that prerequisite hit first and foremost. Which isn't that really easy to land, by the way. Alrighty, got ourselves another parry over here. So now the parries are coming around, although this guy's uh, moves a little bit more telegraphed than those big guys, so that's probably the reason why I'm going better on that one. Right now, we're kind of taking a really big side pad. We're not even really supposed to be here if I'm right just yet, or I guess in, you know, Dark Souls or From Software games, there's really no you shouldn't be here yet type of thing, but yeah, I'm over here taking kind of a little bit of a straight up um, this concerning area to where I'm supposed to be technically going to. But I'm doing this because I do believe there is some madman's knowledge down here somewhere which could use us to level up soon. Because otherwise, we're going to lose these souls if I have to kind of die to the first boss first and foremost. I'm not even sure why I switched over to the Halberd version when I've been doing so good with the um, hand axe variation. And how you doing, buddy? Yeah, okay, look. Here's the problem. You're over here just taking time away from me when you're your friends over there about to snipe me, so if you don't mind, not sure how you hit me with that one, but okay. I'll take your word for it. Hey, alright, thanks a lot, dickbag. Let's just stand behind here for a second. Yeah, take your shot. Thank you. Now we'll deal with you. Alright, look, when I'm fighting people, you don't take shots at me, alright, my friend? I'm over here busy. Silver bullets, and what do we have here? More Quicksilver bullets. Alrighty, so let's grab this over here, and I think we're going to probably call an episode here. We've done some pretty good progress, and we're kind of heading our way to circle around to the main area at some point, so we have this to look forward to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does me a lot. Um, stick tuned for episode number two, and I will catch you next time.